what is our study plan so this is our study plan guys uh, we are going with software development right and we are currently on data structures and algorithm it will take about 12 days to complete these all things and then we will move towards infra support infra support will uh, take approx 16 days uh, many things are new over there in these uh, topics basically then we have networking it will take approx 10 days guys networking the landman man ring mesh repeaters topologies the uh, reference structures these all will take approx 10 days guys and then we will talk about the cloud computing which will take around 12 days to complete the whole topics so this is our study plan guys i hope uh, you will all will be with us in this study plan so if you have any doubts then please uh, comment in the comment section so let's go ahead let's get ahead and uh, let's talk about our shorting techniques and searching techniques. so we started searching technique with linear search right so we talked about like uh, what is linear search linear search is a very simple search algorithm in searching techniques the linear search is the very basic searching in this type of search a sequential search is made all items one by one so basically uh, as you can see in the uh, demo or example if we are trying to find number 33 then we are checking it with every element in the array like is it at the first place is it at the second place is it at the third place and so on we are comparing each element with our uh, searching element right we want to find 33 we are comparing is 10 is equal to 33 is 14 is equal to 33 is 19 is equal to 33 and so on and when we find that element over some index then we will return that index so this is linear search okay this is linear search this is very basic uh, every item is checked and if a match is found then the particular item is written right simple otherwise the search continues till the end of the data collection so basically if we didn't find it at uh, last element then we will say that the item is not found or element is not found okay uh, all the basic things are simple like uh, it has linear or uh, constant uh, uh, constants like uh, for other uh, we should share like uh, complexities it has o n all the complexities are o n all the complexities are o n all the notations are o n okay guys just remember that okay let's talk about some other things like binary search this is it is important uh, as competition regards binary search is really important binary search is a fast search algorithm with runtime complexity of o log n so logarithmic notations are there and complexity is o log n big o log n important this is important guys remember that binary search having a runtime complexity of o log n okay this is really important this search algorithm works on the principle of divide and conquer binary means two binary means two right so in this searching algorithm we divide the whole data into two equal parts first part and the second part so that's why it is said it is it's a work on the principle of divide and conquer right because we divide the whole part a uh, whole data into two equal parts for this algorithm to work properly the data collection should be in the shorted form this is also important binary search is a special kind of search in which if you want to use this technique then the data should be in a shorted manner okay guys it should be in increasing or decreasing manner according to your need basically so if the data is not in the shorted form then you cannot use this technique 
if the data is not in the shorted form then you will be not be able to use this technique guys remember it okay so how binary search works how it uh, compares and finds the known element so binary search looks for a particular item by comparing the middlemost item of the collection we are trying to find the element at the middlemost element we are trying to find if we are trying to find like 33 then we will compare it with the middlemost element right guys remember that we are trying to find suppose that a element n then we will try to compare it with the middlemost element if we find it then it is okay if not then what will happen if a match occurs then the index of the item is written right if the middle term is greater than the item if the middle term is greater than the item then item is searched in the sub array to the left of the middle item to the left of the middle item we divided the whole array into two equal parts right suppose that we have a array something like this we will find the middlemost item and we start comparing it with our finding element right suppose that n okay if we found it then the index will be returned if not and the middle term is greater than what we are trying to find then we will try to find it in the left sub part and if it is smaller then we will try to find it in the right sub part so we, uh, the item is searched for in the left sub array to the right of the middle term right if we find it then left uh, then the index will be return of the middle element if the middle element is smaller then the right sub part if the middle element is greater than left sub part okay this process continues on the sub array as well until the size of the sub array reduced to zero so this process will be continued till we find the item or the size of the sub array becomes zero right guys remember it let's start exploring how it works guys okay here is an example uh, how we can find the element like suppose uh, let's assume that we need to search the location of value 31. We want to find the element 31 by using binary search. If we are using binary search the whole array should be in a shorted manner right. So as we can see in our example we have a shorted array. As you can see, 10, 14, 19, and so it is in an increasing order. Okay. If the array is in increasing order, then what will happen? We will first find, try to find 31 at the middlemost part. So there are a total nine elements, right? There are total nine elements. So zero plus nine. 0 plus 9 is equal to 9, right? And 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So we will try to find it at the fourth element, as you can see. So fourth element, okay? Fourth element is not equal to 31. It is not equal to 31, okay? Then what will happen? We will discard the left sub part and the middle and we will grab only the right sub part we have divided the array into two parts by the middle term right then we will do it right sub part because the middle term is smaller than the uh, number which we are trying to find right the middle term is smaller than the number which we are trying to find that's why we are taking the right sub part okay in right sub part it is five to nine right then 5 plus 9, which is 14, and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, so by this, we will try to find our element at the 7th place. On the 7th place, here, 
we have 35. 35 is also not equal to 31. We are trying to find 31. But 35 is not equal to 31, guys. Right? Okay. No problem. Now, we will discard this middle part. And 35 is greater than 31. Then we will take left sub part now. Okay. We will take left sub part. Okay. Now we have left sub part. Here we have 5 and 6. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. And 11 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Now we will compare our element at the fifth element. We will try to find 31 is equal to 31. Yes, we got the element, right? So we found it at the fifth position, right? That's how binary search works. Now let's see. How many times we compare in this type of searching technique? So first we compare it with 27, then we compare it with 35, and then at last we compare it the uh, with the last element 31. Okay, three comparisons.